Hey guys, uh, Valkyrie612 here. I'm going to show you um, how to speed up your network card for gaming. Uh, you want to go to the internet and uh, you want to go to a website called uh, speedguide.net slash downloads.php Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, SGTCP Optimizer and go ahead and download that and what you're going to find is uh, a software package that you can actually uh, use right off your desktop okay it's called uh, TCP optimizer All right so right click on that and you want to run as administrator if you're using Windows 7 or Vista you need to run as administrator so go ahead and click on that click yes when it asks you if that's okay and rather than go into details, I'm just going to uh, let you pause the, the screen and copy what I've got here, okay? But you want to make sure that you have Modify All Network Adapters checked. Uh, make sure that your adapter is uh, selected and that your connection speed is set to the maximum if you're using a uh, high bandwidth such as a cable mode, okay? So look at the left down here and just copy what I've got and look in the right here and copy what I've got here. Let's go ahead and pause and do that. And you want to click advanced settings and over here on the right is really important. You want to go to gaming tweak networking throttle index make sure that that is uh, disabled. Make sure gaming tweak uh, disable Nagle, Nagle's algorithm. Follow what I've got right here. So you want the first two enabled and the third one is going to be set to uh, not applicable if the first two aren't able. Um, everything else here should be set to zero. These three down here. Uh, your dynamic port allocation should be set automatically. Make sure network memory allocation is enabled, set to one, and size is set to optimize three. Go ahead and uh, click apply changes. And uh, when it asks you if you want to reboot, go ahead and click yes. All right. So uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment for me on the group page. Um, what will happen is that you'll find that your game uh, will be a lot faster. It doesn't matter if it's Modern Warfare 3 or, uh, you know, um, whatever it is that you're playing online. The game's going to be noticeably faster. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get more kills because sometimes people who are lagging you can actually kill you more than you can but your game experience should be better. Now if you're running any uh, high-end uh, network applications or doing a lot of downloading of uh, big files off uh, you know, the internet like videos and things, uh, before you do that you want to go back into the tool uh, and you want to um, go ahead and uh, set your settings back to Windows uh, default all right, and just click apply changes again and uh, reboot and that'll make sure that uh, you can accept um, uh, large files at high at high bandwidth uh, it's going to be a little bit slower just to make sure that the files are downloaded accurately it gets kind of complex but basically you want just set it back to Windows uh, default and then when you're ready to play a game again just go back and set it the way I showed you or you can leave it there okay it's up to you all right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in game. Bye-bye.